So good evening. Uh, I'm Benedictus, and I will be presenting on the Sapo National Park, where I work currently. So before I talk about Sapo, I just want to give a little background about Liberia. So Liberia is, is a tiny country on the west coast of West, of, of west Africa. And uh, we have about 4.5 million hectares of forest. And Liberia has three of the major blocks of forest in the Upper Guinea region. So Upper Guinea is, is a forest area across Western Africa that runs from Sierra Leone and parts of Guinea, which is not shown here, to Togo after Ghana. So as you can see in the map, Liberia has most of this forest, OK? So it's believed that Liberia has about 42%. This is a, sense, a survey that was conducted in 2004. So I don't know what it is now. So because, so in Liberia, there are, currently there are three protected areas. So we have the Sapo National Park in the southeast, which is the largest and the only national park. We have, this is Nima, and this is called an East Nima Nature Reserve. It's in a mountain. And there is another protected area here mm -hmm. called the Lake Piso Multiple Purpose Reserve. Now, all of these areas you see here with the red around the green areas, these are all forest areas, and these are proposed protected areas. So like the case of the Abi Ajata, Abi Jata Ajala that we went to. These are areas that are national forests, but they are not gazetted. So in Liberia, they are not under protection, but they are proposed. Okay. So we'll be focused on the sample lab. So just a little background about species in Liberia. There are over 2,000 plant species, over 600 bird species, over one to three thousand, one thousand to to 1,300 butterfly species and other insects, 125 mammal species, and many more, raptors and the rest of them. So Sapo National Park is located in the southeastern part of Liberia. And uh, it is about 180,000 hectares, or about 1,700 square kilometers. So this park was established, sorry, in 1983. So. As I said earlier, it's the only national park. Since it was established, it has also experienced some lot of uh, illegal hunting and uh, encroachment in the buffer areas. So the park is, contains one of the most intact forest areas in Liberia, despite the encroachment. So this is just an aerial photograph of some part of Sapo. This is not how the whole park looks like, but this is how the kind of forest we have there. So in Sapo, we have, it's, it's generally a lowland forest. That is the maximum elevation we have there is about 300 to 400 meter, meters above sea level. And there are a lot of rivers, streams, streams and swamp and riparian forests. So this is some, one of the major rivers in Sapo National Park. And this is, a photograph of me when I was doing my master's research in Sapo. So Sapo National Park, it is very important to <coughs> West Africa and the Upper Guinea Forest area because it's a, it's a home to most, most of the endangered species we have in the region. And currently in the park, what we are focused on is we carry out bio monitoring and we, our interest is to document the species that are found in Sapo National Park. Historically, we know that these species exist, but for the past 10 to 15 years, little is known about them. So my organization, FFR, that I work with, we are, carrying out, we are running a biomonitoring program. There are currently 90 transits of two kilometers each established within the park. So along those transits, we monitor, the, we monitor species, and as well, we carry out camera trapping. So recently, in 2015, we captured some lot of good, we, we, we had a lot of good footage of some of the species in Sapo, which I'll be showing now. So this is the forest elephant, one of the major species we are tracked. This is a picture of the, of a, this is called a zebra dacker. 
is an endangered species and endemic to the Upper Guinea forest. This, the pygmy hippo, which is a smaller one compared to the common hippo that we saw. And this species originally was believed to be found only in Liberia, but later it was discovered in Sierra Leone, parts of Africa Coast and other places. But yet it is endemic to the Upper Guinea forest. And it even its scientific name is named, is, 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 is named after Liberia. This is the forest bongo. This is a picture of it. All of these photos are camera trapping footage. And this is another endemic bird of the upper Guinea forest that we call the white breasted Guinea fowl. This is one of the primary species that we have. This is another red species. This is the first camera footage we have of the species in Sapo National Park. So this is one of the iconic bird species of the Upper Guinea Forest, which is the white neck picatitis. And this was captured in 2011 in Sapo National Park on camera. This is the Western Japan Sea or West African Japan Sea. Thank you.